Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today's is a special one. I got back from my recent tournament to a package that I have not opened yet. Uh, this is something that I think is going to be very special. I ordered this. Well, I don't even remember when I ordered it. I believe it was pre-COVID because COVID hit and that kind of delayed a lot of the, the making of this. But it's a hand-carved bait that I purchased from an individual that specializes in fish replicas. So if you want a mount of your fish, he can hand-carve you a replica of the fish. Definitely one of the uh, best carving people out there, in my opinion. He's very big in the musky world. Hans the Carver is his name. That's what he goes by on social media pages. But this bait right here, I believe, is the, I think that's only the second one that he's ever made of it. And I'm really excited to see it. I don't even truly recall what it looks like. Uh, I remember seeing the one that he made originally and contacting him to see if I could have one made. Uh, and I believe at that time it was the most expensive bait well, it was the most expensive bait I've ever purchased, but I don't think you could find a more expensive bait on the market. Uh, I, at this point now, I know you can go, you can get a, like a Roman made swim bait uh, on Tackle Warehouse. I think they're like $1,100 somewhere in there. Uh, but I paid $800 for this bait. By far the most expensive bait that I've ever purchased. Uh, I don't know guys it was one of those things where i felt like i needed it and at this point i i can't wait to open it in front of you before i do that though i do want to remind you guys that if you're looking to purchase some tackle and you want to support the channel check out the affiliate link in the video description for tackle warehouse please use that if you're purchasing tackle from tackle warehouse bookmark it for future purchases but it's a great way to support the channel so that i can have unveilings like this for you guys um it was a hard one to explain to my wife she uh probably does not really understand it but i can't wait to have it i am gonna make a few casts with it and i'll do that and i'll show it to you guys so you can see the motion of it uh but it ultimately will probably end up being on my wall i've got a big uh carved wooden musky up in my living room i'll probably put it in the mouth of that fish um but let's open it let's see what this looks like so we're gonna go ahead and open it he put a lot of tape on this i should have had it a while ago but there was actually a mix-up where i think it was sent to the wrong individual and uh so then that individual had to ship it back they probably did not want to do that but they luckily for me shipped it back and i have since received it all right so i've got a glimpse of it already i can see it sticking out i'm excited holy smokes guys that is a big bait That's a big bait. I want to make sure there's nothing else in here. That is it. It's the king, king walleye. Now you guys know, you know, you know me as a bass angler, but I love musky fishing as well. And that's what this is. Uh, it's almost a ridiculous musky bait as well. I want to make sure I don't do anything I shouldn't here. So I am just pulling the tape off. Golly. A lot of tape. This is too big to use for bass. That is beautiful.
Oh, it smells. I can smell like the epoxy on it. It smells awesome. Let's get this out. Oh, God. I don't know that I even have a rod big enough to throw this on. So it is, he, he has numbered it. Number two, so it is the second one that he's made. Look at that. That is a gorgeous walleye. It's got magnets in it. Holding the hook up, you can see it says King Walleye. Hans the Carver on it. Hand painted. Lots of beautiful detail. I think this thing, if I remember, is like 18 inches, 16 inches. Let's measure it on the table here. Yeah, it's 16 inches. Just a massive bait. I mean, I, I don't know if you're getting the detail in that. I hope you are, but it looks just like a walleye. The eyes on it, super, super cool. So it's been carved out under the epoxy. So it's got a very realistic scale appearance on it. Just gorgeous. I catch that in the wild, I call that a fish sandwich. Super cool. All right, well, we need to make a couple of casts with this. Maybe not a couple. It looks like it would dive pretty deep. I have, I don't really know any details on the bait in terms of performance. I think it was meant for trolling. So I don't know how deep it'll dive, but I am, I'm gonna show you the action. I gotta see the action of it, but I don't know I don't think I can make a full cast with this into the river just because uh, we got a lot of rocks and, and logs and stuff, and I am not willing to lose this. But I got to see the action. It says HTC, Hans the Carver on the back. I just, I love how every scale has been carved out. I don't know how long that would take to do, but it would take a long time. That's very, very cool. It's got a super thick epoxy on it too. So, I mean, the bait is made to use. The bait is made to fish. I just don't know. God, I, I feel like I got to fish with it. Don't I gotta fish with it? Like, I, I have to actually take it out and musky fish with it. I mean, this is the size of the bazillion of walleye that live on the Wisconsin River here. So, I know the musky are feeding on it. I feel like I gotta actually fish with it. Well, let's go, let's go check out the action. I'll make a call at some point. I don't need to fish with it right away, but I love that. Hans, I love it. I love it. Super, super cool. Maybe one day I'll catch a muskie that I need to have mounted that I'll have him carve for me. But, uh, yeah. We're going to go take the king walleye down to the river <laughs> and see what it looks like. Let's go. All right, guys. Down here at the river, looks like the DNR shocking boats are coming by. That's awesome. Just shock our fish all up. But I've got the king walleye in hand. I'm going to be using it on the MHX MU96 heavy action if I can get that to focus. Doesn't want to focus. It's a uh, heavy action, 8 foot, rated for up to a 6 ounce bait. Putting it in the water. Holy smokes. She floats in there. Let's uh, see what we can do. Oh golly, this is a trolling bait. 
just to get her to wiggle, you really got to put some pressure on. But just as a good wiggling motion, I don't think it would dive that super far. Oh, God. There's no way you can cast this. It's just not doable. But she's got some good wiggling motion to it. Very, very cool bait. This is going to go on my wall. I don't know that I could actually cast this, and I'm not... I just not much of a troller. She just grind in the bottom. We don't have enough water depth here, but she's a high floater until. Oh, I love this thing. There's the shocking boats out there doing their job, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of electro shocking. I think there's better ways to do it, but I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the things DNRs do, so that's just me. Anyways, I'm going to keep playing with my king walleye, thanks to Hans the Carver. This is pretty awesome. And uh, guys, check them out, Hans the Carver, social media pages. Uh, let me know, was it worth 800 bucks? Am I crazy or am I just a tackle junkie that loves baits? Now, honestly, I almost feel like this is an investment. That's what I tell my wife, at least. King walleye most expensive bait on the market at the time oh boy i'll talk to you later thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already stay tuned more crazy videos coming out tomorrow